Good morning. It's the week of February 25th, 2019. I'm Karen Hamstra, and welcome to Marion Public Library's Title Talk. Several new books to show you today. The first one is a new one by Mary Daheim, A Case of Beer. And as you know, probably know, she has these really cute titles for her mysteries. As in this delightfully madcap entry in the best-selling Bed and Breakfast serial series, Innkeeper and Amateur Sleuth Judith McGonigal Flynn's plans for a relaxing vacation in the Canadian Rockies go awry when she realizes that her fellow gifts, guests have a different kind of getaway in their devious minds. Vacations can be murder. A case of beer. Here's a new one by Wanda Brunstetter, uh, The Forgiving Jar. This is book two of the Prayer Jars series. And we have a hard time keeping Wanda Brunstetter's books on the shelf. They're extremely popular. Uh, it says, Sarah Murray has never met her mother's parents and is surprised to learn after her death that they are Amish living in Pennsylvania. When she is finally able to make the trip to meet them, she is shocked to learn someone else has been living with them and pretending to be her. Sarah can't understand how quickly her grandparents are willing to forgive the imposter. The Amish are known for their forgiveness. The Chef by James Patterson, a very tasty thriller it says. And this one is with Max DeLalo. <clears throat> Police detective by day, celebrity food truck chef by night. Now Caleb Bruni has a new title, Most Wanted. And this takes place in carnival days leading up to Mardi Gras in New Orleans. The chef, James Patterson. James Rollins has a new one out called Crucible. This is also a thriller. And let's see here. Facing its most personal and ominous threat yet, Sigma Force must wrestle with the deepest spiritual mysteries of mankind in this mind-expanding adventure from James Rollins. Crucible. I have one called American Duchess by Karen Harper, who is also quite a popular author. Uh, this one has to do with Consuelo Vanderbilt, her wedding of the century to the Duke of Marlborough, and her quest to live a life beyond the glitter and the gold. It takes place in 1895 in New York City and then in England afterwards. So a historical novel from Karen Harper, American Duchess. The Witches of St. Petersburg by Imogen Edwards Jones. Uh, this is a historical novel based on fact. Um, talks about two, the two princesses from Montenegro, Melitza and Stana, who went to St. Petersburg to try to get married, and they ingratiated themselves into the Romanov court, and they were the ones who are given credit for bringing Rasputin to the Tsarina's attention. So if you like historical fiction, the Witches of St. Petersburg would be a good bet. Cynthia Herod Eagles has a new one called Headlong. When one of London's best known literary agents is found dead in unexplained circumstances, having taken a header from his office window, DCI Slider is under pressure from the borough commander to confirm a case of accidental death. But when the evidence points to murder, Slider and his team find themselves uncovering all the juicy secrets of the suave and successful Ed Wiseman's past. Headlong. Cynthia Herod Eagles. And last but not least in the fiction category, we have kind of a fun new series apparently, Who Killed the Fawns? by James Boyce. And yes, it is that Fawns. When the cherished sitcom Happy Days left the airways after 11 season, it stranded best friends Richie Cunningham and Arthur Fonzarelli in the middle of the 1960s. What happened to them in the following years? Who Killed the Fonz answers that question, reconnecting with the duo in the midst of the 1980s and a startling tragedy. And then I have just a few nonfiction books to which I'd like to draw your attention. Driven, A White Knuckled Ride to Heartbreak and Back by Melissa Stevenson. This can be found at 305.40977, the number for the Midwest. And guess what? She was originally from Indiana. And this is the story told through various cars. Uh, it's a mem memoir 
about one woman's heartbreak, that would be Melissa Stevenson's, uh, her road through heartbreak to hope following the death of her troubled brother told through the series of cars that accompanied her. And she does end up driving all over the country. And another travel related book, um, this one more focused on travel, Off the Rails, A Train Trip Through Life. This is by an Italian author, author Beppa Sabarini. Uh, it covers uh, train travels all around the world. In this witty and entertaining collection of travel tales, an acclaimed journalist explores his obsession with trains and what his rail journeys have taught him about culture and identity. And then we have a new cookbook, The Kitchen Shortcut Bible, More Than 200 Recipes to Make Real Food Real Fast by Bruce Weinstein and Mark Scarborough. 641.555 has lots of nice pictures in it and lots of good looking food. And last but not least, Apostles of Revolution by John Furling, who wrote Jefferson and Hamilton. This one is about Jefferson, Payne, Monroe, and the struggle against the old order in America and Europe. 973.3092. Um, this one deals with the Americans' quest to rid Europe of monarchies after the American Revolution. Uh, I believe it starts pre-1776, though, to set the scene. So, those are our books for this week. I hope you'll stop by and pick one or more of them up. They'll be waiting for you. Talk to you next week.